Hi guys, today I want to discuss on Gaskell 2.1 question. So we are talking about a monoatomic ideal gas, the 300 Kelvin at volume 15 liters and pressure 15 atmospheres. And it has been taken to through two processes, isothermal expansion and adiabatic expansion to a pressure at 10 atmospheres. So let's see how we can calculate the final volume, work done, heat entering, change in internal energy, and change in enthalpy. So here is the solution. We have given the temperature, pressure, and volume. So from this, we will calculate the N1 using P1, V1 by RT1, and we get 9.316. And I use R, 0 0.08206 liter atmospheres, per mole Kelvin because I have the pressure and volume in atmospheres and liters. Now if you take an isothermal process, the delta T is zero. So the temperature T2 is equals to 300 Kelvin and P2 equals to 10 atmospheres. And we have N2 as the same for the initial process. So we have temperature constant P1 V1 equals to P2 V2. From that we get the volume final. And we know that the delta T is zero and the delta U depends only on the temperature. So from first law of thermodynamics, we have delta U equals to Q minus W equals to zero. So we have Q equals to W. And we know Q equals to integral PdV because W is nothing but integral PdV. And the nRT by V, we change P to nRT by V so that we can integrate dV by V. That is equals to nRT and the temperature is constant. So we take outside along with the n and r which are constants. And we get Q equals to NR T ln V2 by V1. That is equals to work done. And when we insert the numerical values, we get heat equals to 9242.97 joules. For the change in enthalpy, we have H equals to U plus PV. And we put delta in front of H. So we get delta H equals to delta U plus delta PV. So that U2 minus U1 is zero and P2 minus V2, P2 V2 minus P1 V1 is zero because we can look this in other terms also. Like we can write P2 V2 equals to NRT2 and NRT1, which is nothing but NRT2 minus T1. And this is zero. So, the change in enthalpy is zero joules. So, for an adiabatic process, the heat transferred is zero. So, we have these properties from the initial process. And in adiabatic process, we have T2 and V2. We need to find these two. So, I use P1, V1 per gamma equals to P2, V2 per gamma. And where I get V2 is nothing but this relation, which is a complex relation. Now, if you take for a monoatomic gas, gamma equals to 1 plus 2 by F. And for monoatomic means they are like single atoms. So they are neon, argon type noble gases. So the gamma we have, uh, we can get 1 plus 2 by 3. 3 is only 3 linear motions in 3 xyz directions and we get 5 by 3 value and I get the volume, final volume and the temperature P2 V2 by NR which is 255 Kelvin. Now the delta U equals to Q minus W from first law of thermodynamics. So Q is 0 and delta U is nothing but NCV delta T. So the CV we have here 
is given in the question as 1.5 times r. It's not 2.5 r. It's actually 1.5 r. So that's why we have 3 by 2 into 8.314, which is joules. So we get the answer in joules. And the work done is nothing but minus delta equals to positive value. So the work is done by the system. So for the delta H, we have delta U plus delta PV, which is nothing but we know delta U from the previous answer. And for P2, V2 minus P1, V1, it's in liter atmospheres. So I need to convert this into joules because that is in joules. So I need to have the same units. So if you see there is a conversion I am doing here and these two are gas constants which are the same constant. So R is nothing but 8.314 joule per mole Kelvin. Also 0.0826 liter atmosphere per mole Kelvin. So when I divide these two I cancel mole per Kelvin and I left with joule per mole liter atmospheres so the liter atmospheres both cancel and i have joules left so then i get my answer in joules which is negative 85,049.35 joules so another thing about a thermodynamic process is the p versus v diagram so we should always draw it to get a schematic understanding so we have began with P1 and V1 with 1515 15 units values each. So that is 15 liters. And this is 15 atmospheres. I started here and I went to a volume of 22.5 liters and a pressure of 10. So this is an isothermal process where the temperature is constant. Now, for an adiabatic process, I begin with the same state. I go to 19.13. Now, I go to this volume. So, if you see the slope of adiabatic process is more higher than the isothermal process. So, you can see here, this is PV. So, PV is constant for an isothermal process and PV power gamma is constant for an adiabatic process. So this is why you see a difference in both these processes. Thank you for watching this video. If you like the content, please click on the like button and subscribe to our channel. Also, please do comment below and let us know the content that you would like to see. Have a good day.